got Dr. Freudenberg back again with further developments in her research. Thank you for joining us again, Dr. Freudenberg. No worries. Happy to share my knowledge. Can you tell us a bit more about your latest research using behavioural psychology to motivate members of the public to wear a mask? Well, we have been playing the police siren across the loudspeakers in public places so that the members of the public may think that the police is approaching and feel the threat of the fine and put their mask on. So far, it has been highly effective. What about your... <coughs> what about your research into certain subsets of the population? Aha, uh -huh. we have found something even more effective for this specific subset of the population. Indian children up to the age of 30. The Auntie Voice. So far, we have trialed a number of different Auntie Voices and have narrowed them down to the four that is the most effective at resembling the generic Indian Auntie. They will also be played in public places at regular intervals in areas where Indians of that age group are known to go, such as Indian grocery stores, temples and local parks where young couples go to make out. Here are the top four anti-voices we will be using. I think I'm getting the COVID because somebody is not wearing their mask. Now what is all this nonsense? Put your mask on otherwise you will get COVID. Then who is going to marry you? How will Seema auntie arrange your marriage? Are Baba, I used to wash your bum from the time you were a baby. Now you listen to me. You put your mask on, otherwise I'll give you one tight wrap now. I think one day I'm going to get COVID only if you don't wear the mask. Let it be. Don't wear the mask. Who is asking you to wear the mask? Do what you want. You want me to be gone? No. Then one day when after I'm gone, you can do whatever you want. As you can see, we have a good selection of the auntie voices to cajole, scare and guilt trip young Indians into doing the right thing and wearing their mask. Great work, Dr. Freudenberg. I can't wait to see your results. And now, back to the Global Citizen Newsroom.